hello welcome to my channel live with the hammer today i'm going to be making egusi soup in my opinion this is the most popular soup out of nigeria these are the core ingredients we're going to be using for this recipe we have egusi smoked fish pieces red bell peppers onions shambo habaneros and tomato crayfish and smoked prawns in bitter leaves i have some seasoning cubes salt palm oil let's begin I'm going to start cooking the pepper mix. This is my egusi after grinding it. I'm going to now mix it with a blend of onions, mostly onions and some pepper to form a paste. We're going to start cooking the meat. In this pot, I have some good meat, some stripe, and some cow skin. I'm going to add this blend of um, onions, pepper, and a little garlic. Some seasoning cubes. And salt to taste. I'm not going to add any water just yet. I'm going to allow it all to simmer. For between seven to ten minutes before I add the water to cook it. So I'm going to allow the meat to sweat out some of its own juices. This has been boiling for seven minutes. I'm going to add enough water to cook it and then continue with the soup. The meat is ready. I'm going to continue cooking the soup now. Continue to watch, please. Let's make this egusi. To a heated pan, we're going to add some palm oil, how much or how little you add, add palm oil you add is, is up to you. So once the palm oil is hot, we're going to go in with our chopped onions.
I'm going to let the onions fry for about two minutes. I'm then going to go in with the smoked prawns. I've removed the head and the tail. Next, these are pepper mix that we already cooked earlier. I'm going to let everything fry and then I'm going to continue making the egusi. Keep an eye on the tomato so it doesn't burn. I'm going to go in with this uh, smoked fish. It's already washed. I soaked it and then it's clean. Seasoning cubes. You can see the oil is floating to the top. I'm now going to start frying the egusi. I'm going to put it in the sauce in little lumps. Remember we mixed the paste earlier and allow it to fry in the sauce so that all the flavors can just marry each other. The egusi is fried now. I'm going to introduce the meat with its stock. I'm going to add some more meat stock I had in the fridge just to loosen up the soup a little bit. That's enough for now. I'm going to add some crayfish. generous I'm going to allow everything to boil together and 
then I'm going to taste for salt. Our soup is almost ready. I'm going to taste for salt. I think the salt is enough. Remember we added salt when we're boiling, the, cooking the meat. So I'm not going to add any more salt. I'm just going to let it simmer for a while and then I put the bitter leaves and our soup will be ready. I'm going to introduce the bitter leaves. You can put as little or as much bitter leaves as you want. I think I'm going to add some more bitter leaves. I also found a handful of chopped kale in the fridge. I think I'm just going to throw that in. I'm going to throw the kale in. We've come to the end of today's video. I want to thank you for sticking with me. If you've watched up to this point and you're not yet subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Like this video by giving it a thumbs up. Share with your family and friends. Feel free to leave me any comments and ask questions if you like. I'll do my best to answer as many questions as I can. Until next time, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.